Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to your new favorite place on the internet my name is bella and i have a lot of things to do today yeah i really do i need to my goodness i need to make a phone call which is very like it's causing me a lot of anxiety but i feel like if i make a vlog about it not about like the phone call but like everything that i have to get done so yeah welcome to what i'm hoping is going to be a very productive vlog i have a lot of things that i need to get done we are going to be doing a to-do list but just as a little preview of the things that i need to get done i need to get some annotations from my kindle into the book because i just came back from a trip and i didn't take this huge book with me i took my kindle and all of my annotations are here and obviously this is empty we don't want this okay this is the sequel to she who drowned no this is the sequel to she who became the world no this is the sequel <laughs> this is the sequel to she who became the sun and i'm really excited about the sequel i am basically over 50 percent of the way through and i am loving it Oh my goodness, like I almost could not put it down, but I mostly read like on the airport and on the flight. So I definitely have quite a lot of annotations to pass from my Kindle into my physical copy. And that's one of the things that we're going to be doing today. And then I also need to edit the vlog of the trip that I just went on because I did go to Miami and I did like a cute little vlog for it. It's for my Patreons, but I have to edit it. And I've kind of been um, pushing it, not pushing it back, but like I've been kind of hesitant to start it because I'm scared, okay? It's, since I got a new computer, I'm obviously not using iMovie anymore, which is what I used to use to edit all my videos. And now I'm trying to like learn this entire new editing software that's called DaVinci Resolve. And it's um, like, it's a lot, okay? Like iMovie it's like baby steps it's for like baby beginners and i've been using that for years and now that um i'm like getting into this entire new world it's very overwhelming that's why i am so incredibly thankful that today's video is sponsored by skillshare skillshare is the world's largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry professionals on film design productivity and so much more i let go of a breath that i didn't know i was holding when i saw that they actually had like an entire learning path based on DaVinci Resolve. Learning paths are hand-picked classes meant to be taken in order that build on one another and are available in a range of experience levels from beginner to advanced. It's basically everything that I needed all organized from beginner mode until I can become a professional on this software. It's all thanks to Skillshare. So obviously I had to talk to you guys about it because they have literally been such a lifesaver. So if you're like me and you wanna learn a new skill or get better at something that you already know or just simply discover the amazing selection of classes that Skillshare has, the first 500 people that click the link in my description will be getting one month free of Skillshare. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and for quite literally saving my life and my career and my YouTube channel um yeah <laughs> that's one of the things that i need to get done today because i really want to upload this video tomorrow for my patreons it's basically just like a quick little insight into how my trip was and what i did in miami i think that we should do like a to-do list because like just saying it it feels okay but then when you write it down it just hits different so let's do that i'm gonna move you guys <laughs> we have these three categories basically my entire life it's my day-to-day -day life my YouTube and my Patreon. So for Patreon, I do have the Miami vlog. I basically, I should move this. Actually, what if I don't talk? What if I just write? Let's do that. <laughs> Yeah. 
moments later. Anyways, um, I need to drink three of these every single day. And um, as someone who hates water, this is like, this is, what is this like? What Greek myth does this remind me of? I don't know, it's like that one dude. <laughs> It's like that one dude that's constantly like rolling that rock up the hill But every time that he's like about to finish it just comes rolling back down Because like yeah, I finish one but then I have to refill it and then when I drink three It's already like 10 p.m. I go to sleep. I wake up. I need to refill it again Every day I wake up <laughs> This has nothing to do with this vlog, but I guess this is part of being productive because this is like Staying on top of my health or whatever. I don't know. I have completed my to-do list and it's quite it's it's <laughs> You know, it's a lot. Okay, it's a lot So I'm going to start with the thing that I'm probably going to have the most fun with and that is Passing my annotations from my Kindle to my physical copy. So as you can see I am reading he who drowned the world And I do have the physical copy obviously so that's what we're going to be doing i have like i don't even know how many annotations i have i'm scared to look because i know it's going to be a lot of annotations Ay, Dios mio. <laughs> these are so many don't even i need to do so much scrolling just to get to the beginning this is going to take probably like an hour but it's okay it's all right
date well it's almost evening so it's kind of been the entire day and i've finished like i just finished editing my video the one that i wanted to work on um it went better than expected it took me less time than i thought it would but it still took me quite some time but i'm still really happy with how it came out i still have to look at it one more time before i export just to make sure that there are no errors and things like that and i also have to design the thumbnail but that's like you know the worst part is over and i feel like i say the worst part but it's ironic because my favorite part of like being or like having a youtube channel is editing like i hate i don't hate filming but it's like the worst part for me because i'm so awkward and i'm really shy and i try to push past that when i'm recording but sometimes it's hard anyways i finished editing the video that i wanted to i also called the bank and it's on them because like they're having issues so it's not on me i did i did what i had to do i still can't check it off my to-do list but at least i took the first step you know what i mean so like a win is a win oh i also finished passing all of my annotations to my physical copy of he who drowned the world this also took me like an hour it's looking a lot better than it was at the beginning of this video because before it was empty and now it has like a little bit of personality and as you can see i kind of matched the tabs to the cover of the book i am highlighting and my highlight colors have not changed like purple still means favorite moments um, pink still means like favorite quotes or favorite phrases blue still means this is devastating and I did have like two orange moments they just say one piece and ever since <laughs> like I'm telling you the one piece brain rot is so real because every time that the the phrase one piece is mentioned and it's not on one piece I'm like oh my god what are you doing here that's amazing so yeah it's just really funny to me to highlight whenever one piece happens like whenever i find that phrase in a non one piece situation i'm like oh my god hey that's very random but anyways i'm on page 256 i'm still missing well um 48 percent of the book so we still have a long way to go i don't really want to push myself to finish this as soon as possible like i'm just having a great time with this book and i'm picking it up whenever i want to like i'm not like oh yeah i need to finish this before wednesday because then i'm gonna stop enjoying the book and i don't want that to happen let's look at my to-do list why am i out of breath i'm always out of breath i do have a doctor's appointment like um in an hour so i do need to go to that now maybe that's why i'm kind of like out of breath because i'm a little bit anxious about that appointment um so yeah that's probably why i'm like this i did quite a lot actually like i still have a couple of things to get done but considering the fact that the past couple of days like this weekend that just passed because today is monday hi hello like yeah the weekend is supposed to be you know for for you to reset and just relax and just rest from all of the trials and tribulations of the week i don't know like i just felt really bad because i was struggling a lot <laughs> with my my injury and i couldn't really do much like i couldn't really get out of bed what's that word like my ability to do stuff was hindered because of said pain so i just felt really bad because i wasn't able to do anything like i couldn't even read i couldn't like i couldn't focus on anything because the pain was that distracting so i literally spent from maybe saturday well yeah both saturday and sunday i spent them in bed the left side of my brain understands that resting is productive too and obviously um i had limitations and i couldn't do anything because of my injury like my left brain understands this but then like another part of my brain is like girl why are you so lazy like your mom did not raise you to be this way i was just beating myself a lot not not physically but like mentally um so i'm really happy and like relieved almost that i got to have such a productive day today because like yeah i did that you know i'm still kind of struggling with my injury and the pain of it all is not great but i still managed to do so many of the things that i wanted to get done and it feels amazing i don't want to have just one productive day this entire week so i will definitely be updating you guys tomorrow on what we're going to be doing i will hopefully be seeing you guys tomorrow and yeah like i need to sh i need to get ready so like goodbye <laughs>
obviously. And I've actually had a pretty productive morning already. It's Wow, it's the afternoon, all right. <laughs> I thought it was still the morning, but apparently it's not. Um, but it's okay, because I've actually done quite a lot of things. I called the bank. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I still have to call them again, but hey, baby steps, okay? Like, I'm working through it. I also finished editing the vlog for my Patreon. I already exported it and scheduled it on Patreon. I just have to design the thumbnail. But after that, we're good to go. So like, I'm feeling really good about this. And after I finish all of the vlog things that I need to get done, I really wanna go ahead and read He Who Drowned the World because I'm really close to the 300 page mark. And I know it doesn't really mean anything to reach the 300 page mark in a book, but it just makes my brain feel right, okay? Um, I'm literally 23 pages away from my 300 page goal. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Just like a little break for myself after working so hard on this vlog. I'm actually really happy with how it came out. I usually don't do voiceovers for vlogs so it was like really fun to just like play around with the things that I was saying and the things that I was showing. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. So if you guys would like to watch it, the link is down below. My Patreon, you are so welcome. I wasn't really in the best mood when I got back home yesterday so I just I did exactly that. Um, <laughs> I just binged a bunch of Cody Ko videos because honestly, he's like everything to me at the moment. And today I actually woke up in a very good mood, which hasn't happened in a while. So I'm really grateful for feeling like this today. And I wanna take full advantage of this by getting all the things that I wanted to get done. I also wanna read He Who Drowned the World. Like I'm just going to fill today with things that make me happy. And actually like being productive makes me really, really happy. There's probably some science behind Behind it like probably like endorphins or serotonin or like one of those tonins that just get activated when you do productive stuff that's what's happening with me today so let's look at today's to-do list because it kind of like it looks long but I feel like I can get most of these things done <laughs> on my day-to-day -day life I still have to update my journal which I haven't done because I'm kind of scared to sit down with my feelings do you know like do you ever feel like that like you're scared to face yourself <laughs> We have a day, so I'm really excited. Am I excited? I think I am, I think I am. I would, I would say this feeling that I am feeling right now is excitement. I will be sharing my thoughts with He Who Drowned the World because I'm just loving it. Like if I thought She Who Drowned, no, She Who Became the Sun was a good book, this just like takes everything to the next level. It kind of feels weird because so much has happened in these 276 pages. It's kind of crazy that I still have like over 40% left. Like what, how, like what else is gonna happen? This is just insane to me, but I'm loving it. I do wanna know where these characters are going to end up. So I'm kind of like, please just like, like come on now. But I'm also loving the pacing of the book. So like I have zero complaints. Maybe I actually do. <laughs> I have one complaint. It's like this one teensy tiny, complaint that I have and I just have to speak my truth because I know that I'm not the only one that feels this way these chapters Are 20 to 30 pages long and that really hinders my enjoyment of the book like if these chapters were 5 to 10 pages I would devour this book even faster But the fact that these chapters like sometimes they're 35 pages long and it's like, it, is it ever that serious? You know what I mean? On my Kindle, when I started a new chapter, it said 44 minutes remaining. And I'm like, are you, is this a joke? How can a chapter, a single chapter be 44 minutes long? It's been a moment, but I'm loving, once again, I'm loving He Who Drowned the World. And after He Who Drowned the World, I'm actually thinking, hold up, maybe you guys should choose for me because I'm very bad at making decisions because okay listen i have three options as my next book to read the first one is actually a reread because i really want to give this book a second chance i think that when i first read it i just wasn't in the mood for it maybe the expectations that i had set on this book just made it really hard for me to appreciate what it was so i really want to give it a second chance and that book is happy place by emily henry as you guys know i love emily henry and this is like the only book of hers apart from like the the ya ones that she wrote way back in the day i hated those as well from this new emily henry era this is like the only book that i haven't really connected with this is a book that i bought when i was in miami wait okay listen let me explain because i am in a book buying ban 
but technically I didn't buy this this Val bought this for me like Val the friend that I went to in Miami I bought her books and she bought me books so technically I did not break the book buying ban because I didn't buy this for myself you know what I mean girl math anyways yeah Val bought this for me I didn't buy this and we wrote like notes to each other and there's like a Polaroid of us at the beginning and it just like yeah this is my happy place now so I really want to give this book a second chance and see if maybe I was the problem when I first read this book back in 2023 this is the first option for the next book that I'm going to read after he who drowned the world and then the second option is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Chalice of the Gods. So this came out last year as well, and this is like a new installment in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians world. So like we're following Percy, Annabeth, like all of the people that we loved in the first original series, they're back with even more issues, I guess. <laughs> and then the last option, these three books cannot be more different from each other but this next book is actually a classic that a lot of people are very excited for me to read and that is john steinbeck's east of eden i've been saying that i'm going to read this book since last year as well and i still haven't gotten around to it not because i'm scared but just like i don't know <laughs> like i really don't have any excuse for not picking this book up maybe i'm just like not in the mood to think so much because with classics obviously like you really need to sit down with that book and just read it you can't really do anything else at all um i mean i guess that's the same with every book but it just takes like a little bit more brain power when you're reading classics in my personal experience anyways so these are the three options let me know in the comments below what book i should pick up after he who drowned the world I'm really excited for all of these, so there are no incorrect answers, but there is one correct answer. So I hope you guys get it right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go design a thumbnail now, then I'm gonna read He Who Drowned the World, then I'm probably going to have lunch with my dad, and then I'll update you guys on how my day is going. I hope your day is going wonderful. I hope you're having a great day. If you have a to-do list, I hope you're getting it done. And even if you aren't, at least you did the to-do list. You know what I mean? Like that's the first step to being productive. Just getting all of the things in your brain into a little cute to-do list, I guess. I don't know, it feels great for me to do that. So anyways, I'll report back in a while. this much energy it's probably because of this little guy right here it's currently 9 a.m in the morning i've been up since 7 a.m and i've just been doing a couple of things like editing this video i've also just been preparing for another a uh, like 
thing at the doctor's uh, doctor's appointment thank you so much and yeah i've just been working on things that i had to get done and i'm really i just like you know what I mean? <laughs> I want to take a second to just kind of like reflect back on this week because I honestly was kind of scared of what this week was going to be like. I didn't really expect to have such a great week. Um, so it honestly took me by surprise that actually being productive and doing things that will help me in the long run I can't believe that actually worked. Um, it's like insane to me. Like people are actually right when they say that being productive helps you feel better. That's crazy. Like who would have thought? Not me. I'm just really proud of myself. Like I have to say it, I deserve a pat on the back. Feel free to hug the screen because I really do deserve a hug and I would love a hug. So thank you so much if you're hugging the screen right now. I'm just really proud of myself and I don't know, that's not something that I usually feel. So whenever I'm feeling it, it's kind of like, oh my goodness, life is good. I have to update all of my reading trackers because last night when I couldn't sleep, I went to sleep at 2 a.m. I actually finished He, not the sun, He Who Drowned the World by Shelley Parker Chan. This is the second and last book in the Radiant Emperor duology. So the first book is She Who Drowned, She Who Became the Sun. Why do I struggle so much with these titles? Okay, so the first book is She Who Drowned the, She Who Became the Sun. The second book is He Who Drowned the World. Look at them together though. Like that's stunning actually. This is how the first book looks in terms of tabs and everything. Oh my god, Sun, thank you so much. You're so gorgeous. So yes, this is the first book. And then this is how the second book ended up looking. Oh my god, baby girl, you're gorgeous. Look at that. Look at all those tabs. Um, as you can see, I definitely started annotating a lot more like maybe here like at the beginning there aren't that many tabs and then suddenly i go insane with the amount of tabs and this is how they look together just two best friends living their best life i'm obsessed actually like i can't like i love them i love them very very much these books did a lot of damage i'm not even gonna lie about it i think he who drowned the world is the most devastating of the two it's also the most tragic and it's also the most traumatizing if she who became the sun kind of like hammers the nail in this is kind of just like you know moving the nail around and just inflicting the most amount of pain possible. But the thing is, I willingly put myself through this and I would willingly do it all over again because this duology was fantastic. Shelley Parker Chan truly has a talent for writing about pain and suffering, but making it sound like the most beautiful experience. I don't know, there's something about the metaphors that they use. To be fair, I only have one Taylor Swift reference. I have two One Piece references, so you know, it's kind of like a balance now between Taylor Swift and One Piece. I also surprisingly have a reference to Ariana Grande and Kat from 10 Things I Hate About You, which I was not expecting. It was definitely not on my bingo card for He Who Drowned the World, but I loved it. I loved He Who Drowned the World. I love She Who Became the Sun. I love this series and I would 100% recommend it if you're ready for pain and characters that are so incredibly flawed, but so beautiful to read about. Like you're gonna hate them, but you're gonna love to hate them. Now that I finished He Who Drowned the World, I have to update all of my reading trackers because I actually have four reading trackers. I have the Notion tracker, I have Goodreads, I have Storygraph, and I have like this Google Docs that I started doing this year that just kind of gives me more stats. That's definitely going to be like the last thing that I do for this vlog because again, let's talk about balance. I've done so many productive things in terms of my work and just you know, things that I had to get done. And now I kind of want to focus, like now that the weekend is here, I kind of want to focus on maybe playing some video games and maybe watching, uh, oh my God, I could watch anime because I'm currently watching Mr. Villain's Day Off. I'm also watching Frieren, which I haven't finished yet. And I'm also watching Dr. Stone. And I'm also watching Dr. Slump, which is a K-drama. So like, I have a lot of things that I need to catch up on. And I feel like I deserve it after the great week that I had. All of that before 10 a.m. in the morning. Wow, look at me. I feel fantastic. So let's go do that.
successfully completed this productive week i think it's time to say goodbye oh. i know it sucks like i don't want to i don't want to be away from you guys but it's time to go i really hope you guys enjoyed this look into a week in my life where i had a lot of things to do and i hope that you guys also found like a little bit of inspiration or motivation for your own productive week if you ever need some you can always come back to this vlog and just get those productive juices going you know what i mean and if you ever want another productive vlog please let me know in the comments below i would love to know what you thought of this video if you liked it i would really really appreciate it if you liked maybe even subscribed and left a comment, turned on the notification bell. It really lets me know that you guys enjoyed these videos and that I should keep doing more of them. I also have a Patreon where I post exclusive content, exclusive reading vlogs, I host reading sprints and readathons, and we also have a monthly book club. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, the link is down below. As always, I would love to have you join my army of premium simpers, where basically the found family trope come to life. So I would love to have you there with me. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed and if you're still here I just want you to know that you're doing great whatever you got done this week I'm very proud of you because you did that you thought you couldn't and yet you did so look at you constantly raising the bar for all of us thank you so much for staying until the end I absolutely adore you and I will most definitely be seeing you next week bye hey Jimmy you nice keep going